Time to be serious now, let's go! Hey, what's up everybody? It's Liva Ellis here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I'm trying to bring you cryptocurrency news in an entertainment kind of way. So it's easy for you to digest. So, before we start with the topic, as you can see, I'm shooting from a different angle right now because I'm driving in a different car. And I just want to say, it's easy to get used to luxury, right? I'm driving now in a rental car without my seat heating, without my sports seats, without my leather interior, without my parking sensors, because my car stopped working. So it needs to be fixed now. But this is an important thing, eh, guys. It's easy to get used to luxury. And it's hard to handle, let's say, less luxury, if you had luxury, right? So, be happy now with how the cryptocurrency market is moving. But are you also being going to be happy when it drops? And are you ready for that? <laughs> so today, I wanted to talk about new money coming into the cryptocurrency market, right? So, if we go back one year ago, then the crypto market was around 8 billion. And today, it's 42 billion, guys. Five times increase. In the last seven days, it increased with 10 billion. And from January, Till today, it doubled up from 24, yeah, almost doubled up from 24 billion to 42 billion. So it's time to speculate, guys. As you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a hobby investor. If you want to know everything about digital marketing and then especially marketing automation, that's my expertise. <laughs> but this is all speculation, as everybody does in this this area right so in my opinion I guess 2017 will be the start that we are getting a step forward in getting mainstream adoption now year by year it's already old news yeah I know but if you look at the, the statement that was coming from one of the early investors of um, snapchat he was predicting let's say a 500k value for Bitcoin 2013 and he based that on the increase of the amount of users and market cap from the start until today and it increased with 52 times right so if they extrapolate that to 2030 that's how he comes to his number but yes the mainstream is giving a lot of attention right Bitcoin has reached an all-time high and still is doing that so that's getting mainstream attention right now, even here in the Dutch uh, media, it's being spoken about, yeah, everywhere. I mean, it's worldwide. Not only that, they are also now talking about altcoins. And if hedge funds and other financial institutions are going to talk about Bitcoin and altcoins, then you know it's on, right? <laughs> so if we look at Ethereum, Classic, for instance, there's also a hedge fund now that is uh, offering that you can have a minimal step in of 10k if you have Warren Buffett now also talking about Bitcoin. He was already doing that for a while, he was skeptical initially, but uh, he's now uh, also into that. Berkshire Hathaway, you know, everybody is following them, or at least him. So you see that mainstream attention is, is getting in right now. And that together with all the other momentum of adoption that is increasing, you know, I've touched base on that already a few times, like the, uh, the situation in Venezuela, the situation in India, um, the regulations uh, in Japan, in the Philippines, other countries stepping in, India's also stepping in. Let's also look at the dark 
dark net, dark web, whatever you call it. I don't know because I've never been there and I do not want to be there because you know Fold 7, you know how uh, how they are big brothering us. <laughs> no, I'm not going to those kind of sites. But as said, like you know, uh, Bitcoin had gained attention in the beginning due to the dark net, Monero as well. And now what I've heard is that the first per first of May. Ethereum is also being added to Alpha Bay, for instance. To be honest, if you go to that kind of market, I would only suggest Monero, but anyway, you criminals, that's your choice. So um, this, I think, is the beginning of getting more and more mainstream attention. So I also did a checkup because I saw an uh, article on uh, Coindesk on uh, the Google trend of Ethereum, and I compared it with, uh, with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is still, guys, is still the, 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 the biggest volume in terms of trend. I don't know it by heart right now, but I think it was a deviation between 80 to 20 between uh, the trend uh, volume of Bitcoin versus Ethereum. But one thing's for sure, it had a spike. So Ethereum is um, it's getting a lot of momentum there. Eh? I mean, uh, Ethereum Enterprise Alliance is growing. Microsoft has already uh, now 13 big supply chain companies that are using their services. They had this big conference, which I've also touched based on last week, in New York, where Ethereum uh, had some showcases. And then let's not forget all those crazy ICOs now on the Ethereum network, like Genosis. What the hell? That rises so fast. Ogre-like thing. And of course, Golem, I've touched based on that. Humanica, I've touched based on that. I've participated in the Humanica ICO, so uh, I hope it will pump! <laughs> yeah, so um, what is else in my portfolio? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero. No news required. If you understand what the use case is, that's why Monero is growing. Oh yeah, also reached all-time high, as many others, of course. Sorry guys, I needed to stop the video, because it's uh, pretty dangerous, I see, driving in the highway, not having an automated transition, trans how do you say, gearbox anymore, I need to manually gear up. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> I'm not used to doing this. <laughs> okay, so the other coin in my portfolio that I wanted to talk about, of course, is Dash. And I'm not going to talk about the network effect because I'm doing great things now. The debit card that is coming up and um, the point of sale uh, device that uh, is being launched. The ATM machine. There's a lo lot of momentum going on from network effect there. But what people intend to forget about Dash is the annual operating plan and the budget that they can use against that. Now I don't know the number by heart anymore, but if you look at their Q4 results, they have an annual budget of, what is it? 300 to 600, somewhere in, the, in, in, in between that range. So, which of the other cryptocurrencies has that amount, right? If they fail with doing business, then it's because of bad leadership. And I don't think they have a bad leader, right? So yeah, that's my main portfolio that I wanted to talk about. But I have strengthened my portfolio now with some additional coins that I use to have pocket money in. So I've strengthened my portfolio with Litecoin. I do believe that uh, the combination of Segwit and the Lightning Network will do amazing stuff. We have seen now the surge of Litecoin, now it's been added to Coinbase. That's a short term thing, of course, huh? But long term, long term, Segwit Lightning, and then together with Bitcoin, then we'll see what happens. Then I've also strengthened my Ripple portfolio. Yes, the evil Bitcoin! <laughs> I'm just looking at it as a potential adoption perspective, right? And for the Dutch viewers, Rabobank is also using Ripple, eh? and if you look at expansion, Axis Bank 
and NBAD are expanding in the Middle East market in India. There are a lot of corporates doing cross-border payments. And last but not least, I've also put in some weight in my main portfolio now for Ethereum Classic. But to be honest, in general now, with this new money coming in and the mainstream hedge funds and other financial institutions and investment institutions talking about altcoins now. Just again, sorry, for the guys in the Netherlands. For instance, I'm subscribed to a newsletter of slimbeleggen.com and they are also talking about other cryptocurrencies now. So this for me is just a sign that the mainstream is getting in quietly. So yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.